Well, we just saw the Scott Quigg versus Carl Frampton fight. And um, in my opinion, I think it was uh, Carl Frampton who deserved to win that fight, if you want me to be honest with you. Um, I couldn't call it the first half of the fight. Both of them look really tentative. They both you know, seem to respect each other and they both look quite cagey. I think Frampton was looking more comfortable in the beginning and he was taking the centre of the ring, getting the jab going, looking busier and slightly more aggressive at the start. And he was coming forward a little bit more. Quick Quick did land a couple of decent shots at the beginning, but nothing of note really. But it just seemed like he wasn't able to get within range. And um, maybe it was true what um, you know Frampton was saying about his, his, his boxing brain. It just looked like he just couldn't get within range and he looked like he was rushing forward hastily and really afraid to let his hands go. Um, and it just looked like Frampton was happy to just let him, you know, stay st- tentative and just, you know, stay in the centre of the ring, let his jabs go, let a few shots go and make it seem as though Frampton was winning the fight. Um, and it just looked like Frampton was trying to make something happen, you know, trying to take the fight to, to Scott Quigg. Um, and I think eventually that's what caused him to win the fight. Um, I think the mistake that Quigg was making was um, both fighters were making. They were they were both throwing single shots. So, um, you know, I think Quigg should have thrown a lot more combinations. Um, and I think if he had pressured Frampton throughout the fight, I think he would have he would have he would have nicked it. Um, I think that he just was very tentative at the beginning, um, Scott Quigg. And I think if he applied more pressure. Frampton could have, um, you know, Quig could Quig would have nicked it. Um, I felt like, um, you know, when Quig applied the pressure, he was getting success, and he seemed to be getting stronger stronger as the fight went on. But having said that, when the two of them stood in the centre of the ring and went toe to toe for a little little while, um, Fr- um, Frampton did st- stand his ground. Um, you know. Quigg did look stronger at the end of the 11th um, and it seemed as though Frampton was in trouble um, and you know I can't help but think that if Quigg applied pressure early on he could have nicked it but I think Frampton done enough to win the fight. I think the first six rounds Quigg wasn't doing anything, Frampton was a little bit more dominant with the jab, took the centre of the ring um, and I think Frampton, I don't know, maybe it was just that belief maybe he just didn't have the confidence to come forward but when he did come forward I think he looked the stronger of the two so I think if Quigg had done that early on he could have um, you know he could have won the fight but I just don't think he'd done enough Um, I think it's one of those things where if he put in a more higher work rate at the start of the fight I think that the outcome would have been slightly different but you know Frampton deserved it there's no doubt about that and in my opinion best in the division is Galeg Marigandau. He's fighting soon and I think, um, you know, he's now unified champion. So I think Rigandau deserves to get the winner of um, Frig, <coughs> sorry, Quig Frampton. Um, so I think um, Frampton, should, Frampton, Frampton should do the right thing and, and fight um, uh, the Jackal versus the Jackal. So that will be interesting. Anyway, let me know your thoughts. I think Frampton deserves to win it. I think if Quig put the pressure on, he could have nicked it. But, um, you know, as I say, Frampton deserved that one. Let me know your thoughts and comments and please subscribe.